Hi everybody, I'm Jessie and I'm so excited for you to join me today for this really cool science project. So for today's science project, I want to create a lava lamp style effect. So the first thing we're going to do is I've got this really nice tall glass that I'm going to fill up about two thirds of the way up with vegetable oil. Next, we're going to add water. And I'm going to add about, fill it up almost to the top, but not quite, right about there. Now I'm gonna give it a second to kind of settle. Do you guys notice anything that's already starting to happen? Check it out. So we've got the water here and we've got the oil settling on top. Oil and water don't like each other, so they won't mix. And so what will happen is the water is denser than the oil, so it's gonna to drop to the bottom. And so as you can see, we've got the water here and the oil up here. And look at all those really cool bubbles. Those are created when the, I was pouring the water and as the water and the oil were trying to get away from each other, it created small air pockets. And that is what created those bubbles. Next, I'm gonna add in some food coloring. And I'm gonna probably add in a good five to six drops. It's gonna take it a second. Oh, you know what, let's add some more. All right. Did you guys see how the food coloring is setting on top of the water? Because of that oil and the water, there's a little bit of a surface tension right there. And so what's happening is that food coloring is just resting right on top of that water, not quite breaking that tension. But what we're gonna do next is gonna break that tension and create this really cool effect. So I've got my Alka-Seltzer tablets. Some people use these to help their stomachs get rid of gas. And so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna take two. And they're pretty big. I'm gonna go ahead and drop these and check out what happens. How cool is that? So what happens is when I dropped those Alka-Seltzer tablets in, it broke that surface tension that was happening between the water and the oil, and it broke that, and it forced the water to move down. Now, the chemicals in Alka-Seltzer helps relieve gas. Gas is a air-type bubble that's in your tummy, and so you guys saw it. It started to bubble, and it was forcing all those air pockets in the water up. And when the water went up, the oil didn't like that. So the oil tried going back down. And so creating this really cool lava looking effect. And as you saw, because the food coloring was sitting on top of the water, as that water moved, it mixed the food coloring. Wasn't that awesome? I hope you guys enjoyed doing this. I would love to see some of your guys' lava lamp creations. You can use them in water bottles. You can use them in glasses like this, large vase. I wanna see your guys' creations and how they turned out. So take a video, send me a photo. I can't wait to see them. So until next time, guys, have fun experimenting. Bye.